That angel, is she really that different from that Artina girl? She is completely different. She was a nurse who would treat anyone, even those who couldn't pay for the treatment. To pay for her patient's medicine, she starved herself and lived a poor life. Her soul was nothing but purity. She scrambled across battlefields to treat wounded soldiers, whether they were allies or enemies. Even when she felt isolated because of the indiscriminate care she provided, she stuck strong to her beliefs. Treating the wounded, no matter which side they're on. I know of some humans who still believe in that kind of stuff. <laughs> Does that have anything to do with how she died? Oh, Dusko isn't good with those kinds of stories. Dusko doesn't know if she wants to hear the rest of the story or not. There they are! The bounty hunt! You trying to interrupt us again? Damn it! Disco isn't good with them, but she still wanted to hear the love story! Damn it! back is wide open. Brace yourself! Take this! Now! It's experiment time! Time to bust some balls! Here I come! I'm still coming!
anything in my dream. Sardine power. Yeah. Not gonna lose.
Here I come! I shall re-educate you! Enjoy yourself. Then, now that they're all dead. Okay, tell us the rest of the story. So, did Artina die because she was trying to save an enemy? Naturally. One of the enemy's key personnel was among her patients. Because of that, she was suspected of being a spy and was killed by agents of her own nation. Uh, you should have killed everyone who was responsible for letting that happen. Well, of course. That's exactly what I thought at the time. When I arrived on the scene, she was already taking her last breath. When I realized that it was too late for me to scare her, I decided that I had to kill all the humans to appease my anger. But she... Please, reconsider. I... I don't want revenge. Revenge will only create more hatred. And another war. I was only following my beliefs and did as I saw fit. I have no regrets. Make no mistake. It's not revenge I'm after. I will be forbidden from drinking human blood if you die. This is retaliation. Then take my blood. I don't have much of it left anyway. That's absurd. I couldn't possibly drink your blood until I've kept my promise. I made a promise to you. Until I show you the depths of fear, I will not drink any human's blood. And I said I was going to watch over you so that this wouldn't happen, but... <laughs> You're pretty earnest, aren't you, Mr. Weirdo? Your loud mouth is proof enough that you'll be fine. Live, and I will plant fear in that incredulous skull of yours. No, I 
don't think I'll make it. I'm sorry. I've caused so much trouble for you. With that stupid promise, my only regret is not being able to let you drink my blood. Hey, don't die! I won't allow you to die without letting me keep my promise! I thought your obsession for promises was weird, especially since you're a demon. I, I didn't know that was the reason. It must have been so hard for you, Valsy. Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> poor Miss Artina and Mr. Balbatoras! Troubling our lord even after her death. She's nothing but a nuisance. <laughs>